Hey guys, so um, in our number corner math lesson, we have our number corner board up. Uh, remember, we had been looking at some patterns that we had seen up until our last one, which was the egg carton that looked like it was one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of 12. That was all the way full. So that's what we had uh, ended with. So what might we guess would be our next one here? Um, let's see. Need a pause, pause. If you want to go on and you know, we'll go ahead. So that one will be six inches out of 12 inches. So six out of 12, much like our egg carton was 12 eggs in their six full. So six out of 12. So looking next, I wonder what might we have on um, after our ruler. We have our ruler, then I wonder what's going to come next. Do you need a pause? Pause. Ooh, so now we've gone four, eight, 12. So four, eight. Eight red out of 12 total on our array. Okay. Nice. What about this one? If we're looking at this one after the array, what came next in our pattern? Right. It looks like pizzas. I wonder how many pizzas we're going to have. We had one, two, three. What's going to be next? Pause if you have an idea, if you need to, a moment. If not, what's going to be next? Yes, we have two open spots, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six total. And we're talking about four pieces um, being represented or left. So somebody's eaten two. So four out of six. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've talked about time. Next, what might we say with that one? If we're looking at some of our patterns comes after the pizza is a clock face, right? That's what's come next. I wonder what could be next on our clock face. So we had two out of 12, four out of 12. This last one was six out of 12. Could we see a pattern there coming up? We've gone up by twos, right? Eight out of 12. All right. So we'll stop there because that takes us um, through um, the weekend. So let's take, uh, or we'll actually we'll go a little further. So after the clock face, what came next? Right, our eggs again. Again, we have two, four, six, eight uh, represent. And then we're missing two, four, eight out of 12, right? But after our egg cartons, right? Our measuring eight out of 12, much like our eggs. That's kind of follow that same pattern. Two out of 12, two out of 12, four out of 12, four out of 12, six out of 12, six out of 12. 8 out of 12, 8 out of 12. wonder what this one's going to be. Turn that down a little bit. Ooh, now that's our first marker of the month was the array. So now we've got 4, 8, 10. We have 2 left. That's not uncovered. So 10 out of 12. Right? And we will go ahead and do 4 today. What's next? Mmm. Pizza. I don't know if you can see, but this represents um, Canadian bacon, which is kind of like a pepperoni, and pineapple. That's what that looks like. Canadian bacon and pineapple. Somebody, people love it. It's not my favorite, but some people love it. So how many pieces of pizza are there? Five. How many total were there? One, two, three four, five, 
six, six, and there's five. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so I wonder what tomorrow could be. Think about, again, what our pattern has. So looking back at some more talk about equivalent fractions again, looking back at our pizza graph, right? We looked at that. It was one out of one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six total pieces of pizza were there, right? So if we look at our number line, so we can see this would be one sixth, right? So that would be one sixth. So this would be one sixth, which means if all of these are going to be one sixth, we're going to label every one of those one sixth, because every one of them is one sixth, right? So between here and here is one sixth, and between there and there is one sixth. So all of these are representing one sixth, right? Okay, so let's say that we add this one and this one together, those two together. What should we get? Two six, right? And then if we continue and add one six, another one six, we get three six, four six, adding another one, five six. And then remember we talked about a whole, our total number that we were talking about was six. So we can even say six over six, right? We can, we can either even do that. So we were talking about equivalent fractions. So if we look at an equivalent fractions on our number line, so if we had two sixths of our pizza, and this is representing that on a number line. We talked about how we could look at this section right here. This could be one section, this could be another section, and this could be another section. It still fills up, it takes account for all the pieces. So we can say one, two, three. We can even divide that even a little further down. So an equivalent fraction of two sixths we can say one out of three, one out of three, one out of three. So we can say this is, you know, talking about one out of three, two out of three, three out of three. We can say that it would be equivalent to one third, right? And like I told you, a strategy, a tip that you can do with these, if you have two sixths, you can divide the top and the bottom, numerator and the denominator by the same number. Two divided by two, that equals one. Six divided by two, how many times does two go into six? Three times, okay? So we're looking at our equivalent fractions, okay? Because now if six people I'm like on this right here, if six people were going to get the same slice, so if we had six people, we had six pieces of pizza. We have two of those people, two out of the six hasn't gotten their pizza yet. Or we could say one third has not got their pizza yet, okay? So again, we're talking about equivalent fractions. The same number of people, this is being equally divided up. Six pieces of pizza, two hasn't gotten it. Remember, we can use this strategy of dividing the top, the numerator, and the denominator both by the same number. In this case, two. Two divided by two is one. Six divided by two 
is three. Two goes into six three times, and that's how we would write one third, right? So this right here, two sixths, is correct because we're talking about this on the number line. So one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six, or one or whole, and we have two six, and that would represent like our pineapple and Canadian bacon pizza. Two people haven't eaten out of the six. Four people took pieces of pizza. Two people had it. All right. Nice job on your math. Again, if you have questions or anything, always feel free to email. But this is, like I, like I tell you, your number line is often always going to be your best friend. You can write it on a number line like we did there, divide it up equally, and that will show you how to represent your fractions on a number line. All right. Nice job. And we'll talk to you soon.